Okay. Another quick review here. <clears throat> it's called the Ball Peen Hammer. I picked this up at a pawn shop. Uh, <laughs> do you notice the pattern here? Uh, this is the only big getty. It's, it's seen some use and whatnot, but with a hammer it either works or it doesn't. The uh, reason why I'm putting this on the Military Industrial uh, Museum, two reasons. Well, I can could, I could come up with lots if you get leave me the time. My little camera here, it's a Sony uh, uh, b -b 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 Cybershot, vintage, I think, 2008. I bought it uh, in Kuwait. But uh, until I figure out how to set it to more than a 10-minute video, it's going to be 10-minute videos, unfortunately. But uh, hammers like this, uh, you need to be able to build things, okay, you need a hammer, okay, you can use a rock, but I'll tell you, for efficiency's sake, get a hammer, uh, what do you call, it? it's got a, uh, pretty nice head to it, a lot of weight, it's got a, uh, sort of a, uh, I'd say like a half egg shape, right on this side, and for the life of me, I haven't looked it up, what that is for, Imagine just uh, breaking stuff, maybe? I'm not sure. It's probably a use to it, a function I'm not aware of. I'll look it up and put it on the uh, descriptor. But uh, I was watching that uh, documentary slash entertainment deal called uh, Gangland. Uh, we are talking about the, uh, the bikers, uh, Hell's Angels and stuff. Uh, maybe, maybe my mind is a little screwed up because I... I need to go to bed. It's my bedtime, believe it or not. Uh, but anyway, they're talking how the bikers of, of, su of such and such were uh, in the ball peen hammers, believe it or not. And uh, it seems they're not considered a weapon in uh, mo most juris jurisdictions or whatever. But I'll tell you, if you were to clobber somebody with one of these, uh, they probably won't get up again. They do it uh, halfway decent. Uh, it's got, uh, it's very, very heavy on the head here, and with enough uh, swing, uh, it's going to really hurt something. And so, uh, what a lot of uh, urban defense type people would recommend, I've done some reading, is, uh, you know, carry one of these in your uh, vehicle or whatever with, uh, you know, with some nails and, and you know, maybe a, a belt, uh, what do you call it, a tool belt? You know, so you have a probable legitimate cause, you know, you're, you're carrying your tools with you. But in a pinch, you know, you could really uh, have a defensive weapon on you that's not going to put you in jail for having it. You know, it's just a, uh, what do you call it? weapon opportunity, defensively, of course. Something to think about. Uh, I picked this up for 8 bucks. So, you know, go check out your pawn shops and stuff for, like, hammers and things like that if you want I recommend it and you know when you got a pesky nail you got nailed down there you go you're ready right gosh I wish I wish I knew what this you know people aren't trained up on tools as much as they used to be in the past you know like me I'm learning a lot of stuff I wish I knew more than I did but there you go you can wish one at one hand or and learn with the other I guess so uh, how much time we got left on this thing? Probably not that much time. Uh, oh, the the guy at the pawn shop, he loves to coat all the wood tools he gets with some kind of linseed oil or something. So that's why it's such a dark, uh, dark uh, pat patina patina. But anyway, this is one of my best pickups. I've used it uh, constantly, pounding nails, not uh, pounding nagas or something, but. Think about, uh, you know, in a military sense, man. We don't really have war hammers and things like that in today's army in the United States, but uh, we've had tomahawks and things. But, uh, you know, don't overlook something like this. It's meant to uh, cause a lot of force in a small amount of area, you know. And uh, and it's not, leg it's not illegal in a lot of places. How much time we got left? I'll do a close-up. Oh, we got five minutes, man. Okay. Well, let's see. There you go. That's the price tag, eight bucks. 
The pawn shop I went to, uh, they're cash only, so cash talks, right? Money talks. That's probably some kind of sealant and stuff. Uh, so when they mount the uh, the steel on the wood here, that fills in the gap. Not really sure what's made out. Probably some kind of epoxy or whatever. But anyway, like I said, this hammer probably outlasts me. I wish I knew what this was for. Of course, I'll find out here soon. But there's nothing like a dumbass on video uh, on video on YouTube talking about something he doesn't know. Uh, it's irritating, I know. Here I am, playing the role. So, uh, a little bit of damage on this thing here. Right there, right? But still functions. So anyway, it's a hammer. Ball-peen hammer, I believe. So, uh, it's not brass knuckles. It's not, uh, it's not a trench knife or anything like that. But still, uh, it's actually a tool you can use to help build your, build whatever you know things out of nails and and wood and whatever you want <clears throat> so uh, but in a pinch you know it can be used defensively or offensively you know it's like the Department of Defense used to be the Department of War <laughs> you know it's all subjective so anyway I'll rant a little bit uh, let's see yeah what's the point of me making these videos okay well listen I'm a veteran uh, former Navy, uh, National Guard. These veterans need to think about making some uh, side ventures and businesses and things like that. My venture is YouTube videos on this channel. I'm going to review uh, military subjects. Uh, more and more, better quality, you know, more variety, things like that. May worth your time and my time. I am a fountain of knowledge and I don't have anywhere to put it. Sick except on YouTube, and I found I can describe something a million times to a million different people, or I can just put it up on YouTube and just describe it once, and whoever wants to see it will see it uh, forever and ever, as long as Google lasts. Probably Google will be around for the next eon, <laughs> the way they're doing things. So, uh, in a way, it's uh, to get the information out to as many people as possible that are interested. I've got a lot to talk about. I've been all around the world, seen many different places, lots of different faces. Got lots of friends made and lost t contact with. Maybe some will find me through this uh, uh, YouTube uh, channel and like that. So feel free to ask me questions and things like that. Please support my sponsors because for whatever reason, look at what they got. You know, click on their ads, things like that. Um, if you're truly interested, otherwise don't waste your time, of course. Uh, what else? But, you know, you never know if you're interested until you look, right? But uh, I'm going to keep churning out whatever I got. I've got a ton of military uh, knickknacks and crap and go over. And uh, I'll just get in where I fit in as far as time and stuff. What is our time? Okay, we got about a minute and... Minutes, some seconds. Uh, I already did the zoom. I already did the look, looky loo. Uh, let's see. Yeah, t today's a uh, cold day. It really is. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a little video on uh, what I uh, had to keep my house insulated. I might do that. I may not tonight or today this morning. That's a.m. by the way. Uh, just uh, whatever I whatever I say, take it with a grain of salt. You know, you get what you pay for, right? Okay. Other than that, uh, stay safe, stay happy. Don't uh, don't do anything. You, you can't. Uh, what do you call? Don't do anything that doesn't benefit you in some way. Without harming you later. I know it's hard, but. Uh, all right, so I got 20 seconds left. Uh, let me see. Try not to do anything too crazy. Oh, uh, let's see. See that painting up there? I got that painting in our rack. Uh, okay, that's it, man.